You are welcome to the Messiah channel. We are broadcasting about the end of days. We are approaching the time for the arrival of the Messiah and all mountains will be made low. All hills will be destroyed for a gateway to be made for the arrival of the Messiah. And United States is fulfilling her destiny. The United States as an empire is declining and you have to know that. And the Bible says that with that knowledge, my people uh, are destroyed, my people uh, perish. The U.S. empire is in decline and it's because end time prophecies have been fulfilled at this time. At the time of making this video, President uh, Putin or Russia in a war game is testing a strategy how to conduct nuclear strike on the West. When you see Russia conducting war games uh, aiming at a nuclear strike on the West, then you know we are in the end times. And we also know that the United States as the hegemon is actually in decline. And it should be in decline because all empires that rise fall. And America is not an exception. And America should be in decline because it's prophesied in Daniel 2.44 all kingdoms will fall and the stone not made of hand will strike all the kingdoms Daniel 2.44 the prophet Daniel is talking about the kingdom of Yeshua Messiah that is coming very soon and so it's no wonder that Putin is openly conducting war games aimed at strategizing how to nuclear strike uh, the West. And North Korea has also reportedly tested an ICBM, intercontinental ballistic missile, that is very difficult to detect. God uses the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. He also uses the weakest things of this world to confound the strong. How come, how come a poor nation, the people are starving, how come they learn the technology and the capability to develop an ICBM that cannot be detected or that is difficult to be detected by the most powerful nation in the world is because America is foretold to decline and be destroyed. North Korea tested a missile that can strike continental United States. And now they have tested an ICBM that is difficult to be detected by the United States. And even American experts have concluded that if North Korea launches nuclear weapons with multiple warheads, it will overwhelm America's 
defenses. And now a red line has been crossed for those who are watching the news. Finland has officially joined NATO. And it was a red line for Russia. Russia said there will be nuclear war if Finland joins NATO. And Finland has officially joined NATO. So what will be next? It is now evident that as a member of NATO, uh, Finland may allow nuclear strategic nuclear weapons to be stationed in Finland, pointing at NATO, and can strike St. Petersburg um, in no time. And how will Russia respond to Finland's NATO membership? Finland has a border with Russia. And recently you also saw Chinese ships surrounding Taiwan. They call it an exercise, a drill. But you have to remember that before Russia invaded Thai, uh, Ukraine, they also call it a drill exercise. You are aware that China has vowed to take Taiwan by force. And as a result of that, there is tension between the uh, United States and China. America is poised to engage China in a war, actual war. American military leaders are even talking about a potential date for that war. They are talking about 2025. And it should not surprise you when people talk about 2025 because as you are aware, the United States and the West and the World Economic Forum, they have a target year 2030 is sacred. And so many things will have to happen before the year 2030. Uh, lo and behold, Satan's agents know that we are in the end times. They know something is about to happen. They, are, they know that their end is very close and they are desperate. I'm not sure whether the agents of Satan know that they will be put in the lake of fire. I'm not sure about that. America is an empire that is in decline or is declining. Or some people will even say it has already declined. And you can actually look at history when empires were declining. The Roman Empire, when it was declining, it was evident that there was a lot of moral decay in Rome. And so in the United States now, you see a lot of uh, moral decay. There are so many LGBT affirming churches. Uh, evangelicals who say that America spread Christianity to the world. They publish so many books. In God we trust, they put it on their on, on their bill, the American dollar bill. And they say the institutions are influenced by Judeo Christian values. But you also see America affirming LGBT values and even churches affirming LGBT values. And you see America very busy working on how many pronouns they should have, how many genders that they should have. 
at the time that China and Russia are focusing on strengthening their military and also spreading their economic, political and military tentacles over the world, it is too late for the Vice President of the United States to travel to Africa to counter Chinese and Russian influence in Africa. It's too late for the Vice President of the United States to give $100 million to Africa to protect human rights when she's talking about LGBT rights on the African continent. When Roman Empire was falling, moral decay was very evident. And when America is falling, you see moral decay, and you also see lawlessness, and you see people even complaining about the erosion of democracy uh, inside the United States and the erosion of human rights uh, in the United States. That's why the African nations found it very offensive for the U.S. to talk about human rights of LGBT when uh, so many rights are violated inside uh, the United States. The U.S. is on the verge of engaging in multiple wars the potential of engaging China in relation to Taiwan and also the specter of engaging Russia in a direct nuclear confrontation as a result of what is happening in Ukraine. The fallout of all these things is that um, America um, will be humbled. America will be humbled. Now there is imperial overstretching. America is overstretching itself and the handwriting is on the wall. The dollar is in decline. Nations are not following America's uh, dominance again. The BRICS nations are moving away from the United States. And so economically, the U.S. is declining. And militarily, the U.S. also has declined. Because Russia has more strategic nuclear weapons than the United States. And even if Russia didn't have it, nuclear weapons are unusable weapons because you may not be able to use them because of the doctrine of mutual, mutual assured, assured destruction. And so the U.S. will not be able to maintain her hegemony. And it's more so because we are moving towards a new world order. It's a world order that will trample over the sovereignty of nations, even including the sovereignty of the United States. For America to agree to lead a new world order, it means that America will have to surrender her sovereignty to the global forces. And I believe this is what the U.S. is doing, surrounding their sovereignty to global forces in alliance with the new world order. And the new world order is a stage for the Antichrist, the man of sin, the son of perdition, the man of lawlessness. And I surely believe that when America is supporting the new world order that will usher in the Antichrist, America 
is fulfilling her destiny as the architects of America planned when they put the new world order, Novos Order Securum, on the American dollar bill. And so the founding fathers, they plan American destiny in the last days to culminate in the new world order. the watershed of America's decline and evidence that we are in the last stages of this earth. We are approaching the coming of the kingdom of the Messiah and nations who have to fall because when the kings of kings and the Lord of Lords is coming, all mountains will be made low and all kingdoms will have to succumb. And here we see the nation that is so arrogant, that is so proud, that has bullied all nations in the world. That is waging war against God himself. We see that nation in decline and it will decline because it has waged war against the creator of the universe by spreading blasphemy all over the world. Thank you for listening to this message.